Hello everyone, a warm welcome to Dr. Tidy's channel. I'm Dr. Malika, graduating physiotherapy and currently working as a full-time ergonomist and consultant physiotherapist in an IT company in Bangalore. So uh, today in this 10-minute uh, brief video, I'm going to talk about laptop ergonomics and how to pick your chair. So ever since laptops have been introduced into our lives, they have become a great deal of work equipment we rely on for most of the times. And uh, this is the case in specifically in, the, in uh, desk job population or office workers where they sit and work for constant hours for a prolonged period of time all through the day and uh, this has been great but this has also complicated our musculoskeletal health and safety uh, which means uh, when you are trying to sit and work on on laptop for longer time it uh, poses a threat to your uh, neck musculature, spine joints and other soft tissues that are involved uh, in your posture. So uh, along with the posture, it also has uh, given, us, uh, other, uh, given rise to other uh, scenarios like tension headaches, migraine headaches or wrist and elbow pains and such. So uh, when you are working from office, you have this very well designed ergonomic workstation which allows you to work comfortably and also without compromising your productivity and all. But uh, the scenario is completely different when you are uh, when you deal with work from home. When you're working from home, the major uh, threat is that you don't have a proper chair, you don't have a proper table, and this usually ends up uh, in some odd posture or some weird posture you use for a uh, prolonged time throughout the day. So that, that obviously leads to other musculoskeletal issues which I have mentioned before. So to avoid this scenario, there is one thing you can do is to set up a near uh, ergonomic workplace which uh, allows you to work without compromising your postural and muscular stability. Now, the key component of any well-designed workplace is the chair you sit on and the table you work on. So. In this video, we are going to show you how you can pick your chair that both suits your needs as well as improve your uh, postural stability or improve your productivity and gives you comfort. Whenever you are going to purchase a chair, always judge it on basis of four category viewpoints. Uh, they are adjustability, seat material, mobility and price point. So when it comes to adjustability, Always check a chair for these five features. Reclinability, adjustable backrest, adjustable or modifiable armrest, headrest and an additional lumbar support. These five features usually uh, have their own benefits and importance when it comes to a chair that you are going to sit for longer times on. Along with this, always uh, look out for a few other uh, features that are very particular to you like uh, does this have a footrest coming with it, uh, does it have a mobility uh, point, we'll talk about that later, but for now. So when you're going to swipe your card at the payment desk, always ask yourself these six questions concerning to the chair. One, does this chair has a adequate or uh, adjustable backrest, which is a uh, both flexible and suiting my needs or uh, for other users as well. Second, always uh, ask, does this chair has modifiable armrests or does this chair have suitable armrests which will support my shoulders, elbow and forearms without giving any strain on my joints? Next, does the seat depth or seat pan of this chair matching the length of my legs or length of my thighs? Because when when the seat depth is too high or too low, it lands you up in some odd posture which is not very appropriate for your lower limbs and back. Uh, particularly when the chair uh, depth is uh, too long, you have to lean forward or when it is too short, you have to sit slouched into the ground, that sort. So check for the seat depth which uh, should be at least 3 to 4 centimeters shorter than your thigh length. Okay, and always check whether the seat edges are puffy and round so that it avoids compression on the back of your knees and it does not uh, give you symptoms like circulatory problems or uh, other uh, numbness issues. Next, always check does the chair has an additional back support. It is not that you have to pick a chair that has an additional support, but those chairs are very comfortable and they have this constant support for your lower back. 
and lastly when i'm using this chair do i need a footrest or a headrest because in population which have persistent neck issues or neck pain it is always advisable to pick a chair that has a headrest because that reduces the load on your uh, cervical spine joints and muscles that's about adjustability now when it comes to seat material uh, there are so many designs and so many options available in the market uh, concerning uh, the seat material or the covering of the seat but uh, always when you uh, when you are about to pick up which material you need to go for remember three key points comfort is key and try before you buy looks or looks aren't everything it's not always about looks now there are i said there are many varieties available in the market vinyl or vinyl like materials cloth upholstery cloth covered foam memory foam latex foam there are so many varieties that uh, it it is almost confusing but whenever you are going to pick a chair or pick a particular seat covering always think about your comfort think about how you want your chair or seat covering to be precisely a uh, few wants foam because it provides comfort and it feels cushiony and you have to you don't have to sit with the uh, bit of uptight in posture and uh, vinyls are easy uh, to manage and spill resistant that's one choice or cloth covered foam cloth covered foam is very great in terms of comfort and stability but it is bit of uh, allergen attracting so there there are pros and cons for each material and what matters is that what you want uh, as a part of your chair and next is mobility so chair mobility is a great deal when it comes to practicality issues so ask yourself these three questions when you are picking up a chair which is mobile one is does this chair have quality casters and a five point base these two are very important and how much space do i need to move around in my workstation how much space do i need and does that space accommodates this chair perfectly or not that's second last is uh, does the armrests of this chair are hindering my mobility in any terms around my workstation picture the chair in your workstation and think does this armrest restrict me from moving freely these are the three questions you need to ask when it comes to mobility and as a ergonomist i would always recommend go for a mobi mobile chair than a stationary one mobile chairs are very much helpful uh, when it comes to you moving around your desk station to pick up things or put things or something like that they are very comfortable unless your workspace is bit concise so uh, you have to be very picky about that about the size and the uh, place your chair is going to occupy and last of course price point so price point is a objective uh, it's not an objective thing it is completely according to you that what is your opinion in terms of how much you are willing to spend on the chair but my advice would be uh, always make a budget and uh, try to leave some grace amount for uh, shipping and installation and always uh, think whether uh, this amount is worthwhile to invest in something like this particularly this sort of furniture so go through those points check your pros and cons uh, make a good deal and uh, then maybe you have your chair dream one but as i said uh, always try before you buy a chair so since this lockdown going on and lot of uh, marketing or uh shopping issues uh not being very comfortable still i recommend you try to buy a chair after you sit in it for a while and check and test everything about the chair uh and yep if you have any more queries if you want to know something else if you uh want to talk to us in detail about this laptop ergonomics or anything in that fact i recommend you go to our page you click on the link check out what all we have in hand to offer you and please reach out to us and uh, help us grow and help uh, serve you more in this terms if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe and let us know what are the talks you want to hear from me in future so that i can come back with a for the more interesting topic thank you good day